What's going on everyone? We're here today in the Miami Design District and I'm going to show you guys around. Let's go! Miami has so much to offer than just South Beach and in this video, I'm going to explore the Arts Miami Design District. The area of land that is now the Design District was once a pineapple farm in a neighborhood referred to as Buena Vista. You can still see proof of this throughout the neighborhood on the charming and vacant Buena Vista Post Office building. The Design District is home to luxury fashion stores like Givenchy, Tom Ford, Cartier, and Louis Vuitton, just to name a few. It has an array of restaurants, creative services, and public art that keeps me coming back. You'll notice your first piece of art while parking if you parked in the museum garage. Garages are the least attractive structures, but not the museum garage. The museum garage is a seven-story building with vastly different facades designed by five different architects that can house up to 800 cars. The block-long museum garage is the best parking garage I've ever seen. Make sure to check out the roof for its bright mural floors. Within the Miami Design District shops, you'll find the most iconic of its artwork, the Fly Eye Dome by Buckminster Fuller. Framed by palm trees, you're free to explore outside the dome or inside. It also covers the entrance to and from one of the parking garage in the Design District. Need to shop in the rain? Then borrow a Miami Design District umbrella available inside the Fly Eye Dome. The perfect open-air event destination also hosts live performances Friday nights. Get there early because it does get very crowded. The artist that created this behind me is actually Jamaican. She did an awesome job. Situated across the Palm Court is another favorite art installation of mine, Actual Infinity, by artist Jamila Sabur, who is originally from Jamaica. This is a collage comprised of 32 pointing hands on classic Sony monitors. You'll definitely want your cameras here. What do you like about the design district? Oh man, you know, I like not just the retailers, but it's almost like a culture in this neighborhood because they bring together a lot of community. They have a lot of events going on. So for me, it's inspiring just as an artist. I walk around and like the retailers are beautiful, the store fries, but I like, get to know people in this neighborhood, you know, like on Fridays, they have free concerts and things like that. So. Yeah, I never get bored here, <laughs> let's just put it that way. Innocent Forest is designed by Sean Sudo. In this piece, imaginary animals wander around a mysterious forest with those animals representing him and the forest as the U.S. when he traveled in his youth. You definitely don't want to miss Jade Alley, designed by Daniel Toole in a series of parabolic concrete walls and facades giving new life to a nondescript Miami Design District alley with changes in scale, shadows, and light integrating new and existing buildings together. Are we hungry yet? Name one of the world's best food halls by Travel and Leisure. St. Rock Market is a chef-centric food hall located in the heart of the Design District featuring a thoughtfully curated mix of local food and beverage talent. A destination for the culinary curious to explore a variety of new cuisines 11 exciting dining options, all centered around their award-winning craft cocktail bar, the Mayhaw. They have curated a mix of the best local chefs and bartenders and empowered them to tell us their stories through their creations. Just outside the food court of St. Rock Market, you'll find Netscape, a 24-seat web of hanging chairs. Have a seat and rock away! Satisfy your sweet tooth at Mad Lab Creamery, the ice cream and candy haven. Classic and seasonal ice cream flavors can be paired with more than 30 toppings. With pink walls and the most photogenic cones in town, everyone knows that calories don't count when you're doing it for the gram. Wine tasting anyone? Located on the second floor of the Palm Court is Abaco, a luxury wine shop and tasting room. What I like about the design district is you can come out here and see people taking pictures all dressed up and you know, just coming to see what's popping and what's going on downtown in this area. Inside the customer store, they got everything here.
Yes, they even got a barbershop here. The Spot Barbershop experience is truly a cut above. The ambience and the skilled barbers with dedication for their craft make this more than just a haircut. It makes every visit a gentleman's experience. Well, what I love about the design district is um, there's always something to do, there's always something to see. It's like a good way to just get your inner creativity going and flowing because there's a lot of creative people that are uh, all around us. Arguably the most photogenic neighborhood in Miami, every corner of the Miami Design District offers an Instagram-worthy photo op. Miami Design District's packed schedule of exhibits, concerts, and activities is ever-changing. Make sure you visit their website to stay up to date on all the latest and greatest happenings in the district. I hope this video brought you some value and thanks so much for watching. Don't forget to like, comment, and share. You could also follow me on Instagram at RogerBSteals.